Hello, welcome to our Duralite stand at the KB Show. I'm going to show you how we how we assemble the overhead cupboards. They can be any length or height. I have a demonstration model here. It has the push lock fitted, the lifting mechanism, and the hinges are fitted to this little model and all the mouldings and a finished end. I'll show you how this is put together. First I'll disassemble our model. Start base of the cabinet, fitting the mouldings, front moulding, the back F channel which screws to the wall, overlay corner fitted to the end, and the U channel was used, glued and screwed, a small piece cut for the mullion. We'll now show this in assembly. First we put glue in the channel and we fit the end and glue and screw that end on. Then we can take the mullion, glue and screw that into position. We have a same width as the mullion, we make a top rail fitting the same mouldings, the overlay corner and the U-channel. Simply glue and screw the top rail onto the end, like so, onto the mullion. Then we take a 35mm front panel, glue and that into the channel. Then take the decor trim, which is cut to the same length as the base, and simply clip it in. And then we can fit the door. And we are creating an overhead cupboard. The door can be edged with a 1mm edge bending, which can be done with an iron, and trimmed with a craft knife and sanded, so that you're able to put all edge bending edges on yourself and form the, the door and then put the hinges and hardware on so we can then have our overhead cupboard which is the same as this with hardware. If the exposed end could be finished against a, a wall or we could Cut another panel of Duralite and use our flexible self-adhesive trim to form a nice soft edge and it has proven over 15 years that the self-adhesive tape really does stick.